So in this case, we're using a product that's 50%, 57% volume solids. The thing to remember is that the minute you go over 50% volume solids, you have to start really seriously looking at what we're utilizing to, to atomize the product. Because the higher in volume solids, the more the, the, the viscosity grows or is maintained within a wet film. And it's important to remember too that some products will need solvent in them to help with film formation. The minute you start uh, adding solvents to a product, it'll help its atomization, it'll help with its film formation, but also too you're atomizing that solvent within the environment as well. So there's many considerations. The fundamental uh, consideration here is the environment. What am I going to spray? What do I need to look for as far as the overspray is concerned? And the overspray is a derivative of the spray pattern itself. We all allow for a, a percentage of loss when we're spraying products. And that can be up to 30%, which is basically what we uh, look for from most products. We lose 30% of products. So from atomization from the gun, 30% of it's gone before you even put it on the surface. If it's windy, of course, your loss will increase. 